Every generation and every day we are charged to envision as if we just left Mitzrayim, Egypt. Which was why every year the Passover Seder we recreate the events that happened to our ancestors both in their exile and their exodus from Egypt. Even though it took place over 3,300 years ago, that's what we do. But the question is, what does that mean to envision? It's one thing to commemorate. How do you envision leaving Egypt, leaving Mitzrayim? Well, most of us have never even been there. The key is the word Mitzrayim. The word Mitzrayim in Hebrew means constraints, limitations, boundaries. It manifests and reflects every inhibition, fear, insecurity that blocks and impedes our forward progress, that doesn't allow us to spread our wings, to actualize ourselves, to reach and conquer greater horizons. So we are charged with this gift, with this opportunity to envision, to recreate the transcendence they experienced then we have the power to do in each generation, each year to experience transcendence and true emancipation on a personal level, on an emotional level, on a psychological level, and on a spiritual level. Now this is what the Jewish people have been doing for thousands of years, every year Passover. But this year, 2020, it takes on a whole new meaning and significance. Passover in the age of Corona. Completely unexpected, unwanted, we have a whole new situation. We are compelled now to celebrate Passover in the confines of our own homes, in small families, small groups. We may have had plans to travel, Pesach programs, or to visit family, or have many guests in our own home. All that has been upended. So you can think this is a time to just cower in fear, and say, okay, let's get through it. No, 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 this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to experience Pesach, Passover, like we never have. To experience transcendence like we never have. So though we're quarantined, the Passover Seder offers us a journey, a tool, instruments to experience true transcendence. It consists of 15 steps, and these 15 steps are a journey. A journey to help us get beyond any of our fears, our concerns. So though we're being prudent and practical and have to follow all the instructions from doctors and rabbis and the health authorities, yet at the same time, this should not in any way block us from experiencing Pesach in a completely new transcendent fashion. And therefore, I have the honor to be creating this 15-step soulful and musical journey of healing and transformation through the Pesach Seder. Accompanied with musical interludes by Shlema Simcha, meant to go through the 15 actual steps of the Seder and show and demonstrate how that can be used in our unique times, made relevant and personalized to the challenges of our times for ourselves and our families and our children. That it should be a memorable, unforgettable Pesach, experiencing transcendence like we never have before, because that's exactly what Pesach is meant to contribute to our lives. So I'm honored to lead this journey, and I hope you'll join me. Kadeshurhat, Kadepas, Yahat, 
Hallelujah. 